Live on NCAA Women's Basketball leading up to the tip-off of the National Championship with the Connecticut Huskies and the Syracuse Orange. It's Tyler Bradfield on hand alongside Debbie Antonelli of Westwood One. Debbie, a chance at history tonight. The Connecticut Huskies going for their fourth straight national championship. If Syracuse wants to fend off history, what would it take from the Orange? Well, it is a daunting challenge. There's no question about it. And, you know, Connecticut has never failed in this environment before. I mean, 10 times they've been to the title game. I can't imagine professional franchises getting to game seven and always being able to win. You know, it's just amazing what they have accomplished and how they've been able to do it over the course of decades. And this run right here is absolutely phenomenal. And he has great players, but Gino Oriema has done a great job coaching his team as well. In the semifinal round for Syracuse in the win over Washington, they were able to kind of limit the opportunities for Kelsey Plum, right. a dynamic scorer, third in the country. How important is their defense tonight against the number one offense of Connecticut? Well, here's the thing, Tyler. Um, you know, you have to hope that Connecticut is going to miss some shots early. Now, they're going to get some open shots because the court is going to open up based on the way Syracuse plays. Connecticut has enough size to see over that, and uh, they have enough quickness to dribble through it. So if Connecticut can get and navigate and attack that pressure, they'll have some backside scoring opportunities. Now, if they make those shots early, it's going to be a long night for Syracuse. But if they miss a few and Syracuse can go the other way and convert, they're going to have to be able to make sure they take the first good shot they get. And if it's a quick three and, you know, they like that and they're fine with that, that could help them have a chance in this game. The final game for these seniors, the senior class with the Connecticut Huskies and a trio that has certainly been dominant over their four years. How good has this class been for the sport of women's basketball? I mean, these kids have come together every single day with a consistent level of excellence. Coach Oriema demands discipline and execution. and. They don't falter. I mean, it's amazing what this group has done. Brianna Stewart, Mariah Jefferson, and Morgan Tuck. They're all pros. They're all going to go on and have incredible careers after this. They have cemented themselves in the history of our game, unlike any other class. And if they pull it off tonight, it will, it will be amazing to be here, to be a part of it. And this is going to be one of those times when you say, I remember when and I remember where I was when Connecticut won number 11. Well, we're inside Bankers Life Fieldhouse. It's been a busy weekend for the sport of basketball, you as well. You've been bouncing around from coverage of radio, been bouncing around with coverage of TV. You even got out on the court and shot a couple of times. <laughs> What's your role tonight? Well, I'm the analyst for Westwood One, and this is my 20th year covering the Women's Final Four for Westwood One, and I'm thrilled to be here on such a maybe an unprecedented moment. Um, and I wanted to say this, the whole weekend in the city of Indianapolis and the NCAA and especially the Division II and Division III championships being held here in the building. I did the Division II championship for CBS Sports and uh, I followed those teams in the Elite Eight in South Dakota a couple of weeks ago. It was thrilling to be a part of that as well and I hope the NCAA will continue to bring those levels to the national championship for D1. Well, Debbie, it's been an honor. Best of luck tonight with the coverage here on Westwood One. Enjoy the evening. Thanks, Tyler. That's Debbie Antonelli of Westwood One on NCAA Women's Basketball.